Alright, yeah, more chilling scares, I'm sure this is chilling scares. The six most disturbing home invasions. Call on security, camera footage. Yeah, that's the only thing with, well also, and paranormal activity. That's another reason I wouldn't have home security. But, it's creepy. Imagine actually, see, well I suppose it's, if you've got it, it's good to see someone's there, but still. Imagine being out and seeing someone sneaking around your house. But anyway, let's go. In September of 2017, the owners of a home near Las Vegas would begin to notice suspicious charges to their credit cards. Upon further inspection, they would confirm that they 100% did not make these purchases. Now, the couple did lose a purse containing multiple cards a few days prior, but they had just assumed they misplaced it somewhere around the house. Obviously, now seeing recent activity on the cards, they realized this was not the case. At some point, the purse had to have been stolen. They began reviewing home security camera footage to pinpoint when exactly they left the house with the purse and unknowingly didn't come back with it. But, oddly, they would find that at no point did they return home without the purse. This would cause them to take a deeper look at the footage, practically analyzing everything hour by hour. And after a while, this was the footage they were met with. Two men would enter the house by climbing a back wall to get into the backyard, and from there simply walk through the back door to the house which was unknowingly left unlocked by the homeowners. They would then silently creep into the kitchen and steal multiple valuables, one of which was the purse. Most disturbing though, is the fact that not only were the homeowners in the house while this took place, but they were sleeping on their living room couch only a few feet away. Oh, and judging shit. by the way the two men were walking around the kitchen, it's clear they were aware of this. Would the homeowners have woken up during this, and it's possible things could have ended a lot worse than just a few stolen items. The two responsible for the burglary. They're brave, because that's some serious crime. I mean, it's dirty and low to rob people's houses anyway. But I do think it's a scummy thing to do. But when they're when someone's actually in their house, that like pretty much doubles your time when you get caught for it. Yet to be identified by police. Jerome Kennedy and his wife were homeowners in Pittsburgh. They were your everyday average family. However, in July of 2017, the couple would start to hear strange noises coming from their attic during the night, like enough to wake them up. At first, they would ignore it. But over the next couple of nights, in addition to the noises, they would now also see a light shining in through a pipe. This would push Jerome to call the police. He believed his neighbor, who he shared an adjoining wall with, was responsible. But when police went over to question his neighbor, he would deny everything. And because Jerome didn't have any proof, police couldn't really do anything. But still believing his neighbor was responsible, Jerome would manually set up a camera in his attic to get proof, or at the very least, to see what was actually happening. That night, Jerome and his wife would not wake up to any noises, but Jerome would decide to review the footage anyway, and this is the sight he was met with. Jerome's suspicions were correct. His neighbor, Robert Havrilla, can be seen crawling around the attic with a power drill. Seeing this, Jerome would once again call the police. Now that he had video evidence to show them, his neighbor Robert would promptly be arrested. It was later discovered that Robert had made a removable wall to gain access to their attic. And under the attic, multiple holes were found drilled into the shared brick wall between the two houses. Why not? This evidence, along with the disturbing footage itself, would ultimately get Robert Havrilla charged with stalking and trespassing. Just staring at him. What a weirdo. 
On a day in October of 2021, a mother named Keen Winchester and her two-year-old son were home alone. The day started out like usual, but later on this would change. She would begin to hear banging on her front door, followed by a male voice yelling for help. Naturally, she would go up to her front door to see who it was, but she didn't recognize the man, so she decided to ignore it. Over time, the banging and yelling would only grow louder. It got to the point where it was clear the man was no longer simply trying to get the homeowner's attention, rather he was genuinely trying to break into the house. In response, the mother would grab her two-year-old son and barricade themselves in an upstairs bathroom. Horrifyingly, while they were hiding, they would begin to hear actual glass shattering. The man had broken into the house, all of which was captured by one of the home security cameras. was able to use a piece of firewood to shatter one of the windows. From there, he would dive headfirst into the house. As soon as she heard shattering glass, the mother would desperately call the police, explaining the situation she was now in. It would take the police a total of 10 minutes to respond. During that time, however, the intruder was unable to locate where the mother and her two-year-old son were hiding. When the police finally did arrive, the man would be arrested and later hospitalized for cuts he received while climbing through the window. It's still unclear why the man did it. He had no connections with any of the homeowners. Police believe this was the result of him being under the influence of something, but 100%. what exactly is never made clear. It's also not clear what he would have done had he actually found the mother and her two-year-old son. He looks more drunk, and he sounds like he was saying help. Like he looks drunk. Do you know what I mean? He may have just been beat up. Well, I don't know. But yeah, it seems more like, I don't think he was targeting them. It was just a case of, yeah. I just think he was pissed. But yeah, let's go. Way back in November of 2009, a man named Joe Cummings lived in a small New York apartment. He would suddenly start to notice food disappearing from his fridge and pantry that he knew for a fact he himself was not eating. After this went on for a while, he finally confronted his girlfriend about it. But oddly, she would deny eating any of his food. Not believing her, Joe decided to set up a camera overnight so that he could catch her in the act and confront her with the evidence. However, when Joe woke up the next morning and reviewed the footage, he would be met with something pretty horrifying. An unknown woman who is not Joe's girlfriend can be seen climbing down from what Joe claims is a storage area in his apartment that has no connection to any outside ventilation or anything of the like. She would then walk over to the fridge and pantry and begin eating different foods, drinking milk, etc. That's when Joe would actually come out of his bedroom, forcing the woman to quickly find a hiding spot. Once Joe went back, she can be seen gathering up some more food before retreating back into the storage area. Thank you. 
When Joe reviewed the footage the next morning, he immediately called the police. When the police arrived, they would take the woman out of the storage area and arrest her. It's unknown how she got in the apartment, but because he's on the top floor of his apartment building, Joe believed she could have gotten in through a fire escape which was located on the ceiling. Police would guess that the woman had been living in the storage area for a couple of weeks with plans she to eventually like rob it. Joe. But whether or not these were actually her motives would never be confirmed. Uh, she just chilling in there. That's a frizzy do no. In 2016, a couple of homeowners in Australia would notice a strange man on their home security cameras walking around their property. At first, it was assumed it was someone they knew stopping by. But this theory was quickly discarded when the man began to crouch down and creep around the property, clearly as if he knew he wasn't supposed to be there. At one point, he can even be seen hiding behind a parked truck so that a passing car wouldn't be able to spot him. This would of course be a shocking discovery for the homeowners and it made them question whether this was the first time the man had creeped around their property. In fact, the homeowners would actually go back and check previous footage to see if they could find any other occurrences. It turns out they would find another. It happened a few days prior. This time, the man was looking in through a back door of the house with a flashlight. exactly this man is doing, or what he had planned, is unknown. The homeowners would notify the police about the situation, but they couldn't identify the man, so there wasn't really much they could do. At least according to what's been documented, the man would not be seen on the property again. This footage was taken in New Jersey. Yes. A mother and her two daughters were home alone at night. The home they lived in was two stories. The three of them were all upstairs. That's when the mother would begin to hear strange noises coming from downstairs. No one was supposed to be down there, so a little concerned, the mother would check the home security cameras on her phone. This is the sight she was met with. A man who she'd never seen before could quite clearly be seen walking around the first floor of her house. Right when she saw this, she would silently barricade herself and her two daughters in an upstairs bathroom. Then she would call the police. However, the police would take a while to respond, leaving her and her two daughters to basically just sit there watching this man through the house's security cameras, praying he wouldn't come upstairs. Fortunately, they know you're they there, not going upstairs. In fact, when the police finally did arrive, the man was gone. Though, his intents were clear. He had left with multiple valuables. At one point in the video, you can even see him carrying the homeowner's purse. But, as far as if he had gone upstairs and found the homeowners, there's no way to tell what he would have done. Had this happened, and things could have easily gone a lot worse. Police aren't sure if the man was armed, and ultimately, they would be unsuccessful in identifying him. Yeah, people are just scum. If you watch this video and you rob houses, you're a piece of shit and a coward. Right? Yeah, that's all right. That's like right, one step up from being a pedo or a sex offender to me. Right? They're the lowest, but you lot are down there going in people's houses. Especially when, like, do you know what I mean? There's kids, you could be anyone in there, kids. You can terrify a bunch of kids. It ain't a manly thing. But, yeah. Although, I will say, I don't think, like, the same with that mate that smashed through the window. 
I was thinking as well, he might have even thought that that was his house. Because people do that, do you know what I mean? People walk up to houses when they're drunk. And that last mate, yeah, when he was saying, oh, if that, he'd have gone upstairs, I don't think his intention was that. He was just robbing the house. But still. You're a piece of shit. But yeah, anyway. That's the reaction. Sweet.